From spiders with unique hunting methods to ones that are just weird to look at, join me as we explore some of the strangest spiders in the world today. Twelve, the Flick Flack Spider. Based on the name of this creature, you might not know exactly what it can do, which might be the point, because the Flick Flack Spider can do something that most animals can't. It can do a cartwheel. No, really, it can. It'll do this when threatened by predators. In fact, it'll go so fast in its tumbling motion that it can actually go twice the speed of a human walking at 6.6 .6 feet per second. So impressive was this that the person who found the spider actually made a robot to emulate its moves. Number 11. Trapdoor Spiders When it comes to spiders, many use very basic means of capturing prey via luring them into their web. In fact, if I was to ask you how spiders hunt, that's how you would describe it, right? However, when it comes to the trapdoor spiders, they get a bit more cunning in their approach and it's strange how detailed they get into set approach. They'll actually dig into the ground they're on and then cover that hole with all the natural tools at their disposal to cover it up and make it blend into the environment. The cover is so convincing that most animals and even people don't notice it because it's a literal perfect camouflage, which is impressive when you think about it. Outside of the trap door, the spiders do use their silk but they use it as trip wires to send a signal. If a prey hits it, the spider will open the trap door and then very quickly grab the prey and bring it down with them to eat. Now, obviously, there is a chance that the spider grabs something it can't eat. If that happens, it'll release it back just as quickly as it takes it. As you can see, this is a very advanced technique of hunting prey, and you have to wonder where they got this idea from in the first place. Clearly, it's an evolutionary trait, but where did it come from, I wonder? 10. Brazilian Wandering Spider This terrifying spider is known to have a very powerful and very active venom. Some even call this the most venomous spider in the world. There are levels of this for the record, and they're active hunters, which means they get around a lot. Which is actually one of the strangest things about them when you think about it because this particular spider likes to go and do things at night. It's not unnatural for spiders to be nocturnal per se, but they do it in a very different way. They'll actually openly go and hide themselves in the daytime, even going so far as to hide in logs or termite mounds. Then, when they're in darkness, they'll just go and wander around on the ground of the area they're in. That's how they got their name, by the way. These are also a breed of spiders that are known to be rather aggressive and aren't afraid to attack humans. It's said that their venom could fell a human if it was to get a good bite in. And because they usually would strike at night, it wouldn't be hard for them to sneak in and strike before a human would notice they were there. Number 9. Cobalt Blue Tarantula When you hear the name Cobalt Blue Tarantula, you're likely one to picture a rather dangerous spider that isn't something you'd like in your home. But quite ironically, the cobalt blue tarantula is indeed a breed of spider that is sold as a pet. Quite frequently sold as a pet, might I add. Oh, but it gets weirder, because your fears about it being dangerous are completely well-founded. They honestly do have a venom in them, and that venom is so strong that it can be used to cause all sorts of painful muscle cramps as well as inflammation of various body parts. Not something you want to happen to you, I'm sure you'll say. And yet, it's a pet. But credit to those who run the pet trade, they're careful and make sure that the tanks that hold these spiders are constructed well and the spiders can be fed without fear of getting too close to them. Also, in case the name didn't give them away, the cobalt blue tarantula is a very odd shade of blue and gray mixed together, ensuring that they stand out from other spiders in the crowd, so to speak, likely a reason why they're popular pets. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss our weekly videos. 8. Diving Bell Spider I want you to picture a spider in its natural habitat. You picturing it? Now, where is it? Regardless of the forest-like or woods-like habitat, I would bet you that you're picturing the spider above ground, meaning it's on land. 
but in the case of the diving bell spider, this is a species of arachnid that lives almost its whole life underwater. No, for real. In fact, the diving bell spider is the only spider known to do this. Key word here is known spider, as it's possible that there are more out there. But for now, the diving bell spider is what we got, and they truly do spend most of their lifetime underwater doing various activities including resting, catching and eating prey, mating, egg laying, and overwintering. Now, despite it being an underwater spider, it does breathe air. It uses silk constructs to get air bubbles and keep them near its head so that it can breathe. Hence the name Diving Bell, because in the old days divers would use bell-like contraption to keep air around them while they went underwater. The Diving Bell Spider has mostly been found in parts of Europe and Asia. Number 7. Ornamental Baboon Tarantula Many spiders are known for their odd colorings and their sizes. In West Africa, a very rare and special kind of spider exists in the form of the ornamental baboon tarantula. They're usually found in Togo or Ghana, and when they're fully grown, they can reach over 5 inches in length. These spiders are characterized by their chalky white coloration with molted black and brown markings. Notably, these tarantulas have very thick rear legs, leading many to believe that they are baboon spiders, when in fact they aren't related to them at all which makes it all the more weird that they look so alike even though they're not related. Their looks aside, the ornamental baboon tarantula are known to be quite threatening when provoked, even having a venom of their own that they can use against foes. They're also not opposed to digging underground for cover in the early parts of their life. 6. Ladybird Mimic Spider In nature, Camouflage is a very effective way of staying alive as well as luring foes into a false sense of security. For the ladybird mimic spider, they go into an interesting part of that cast of creatures, because they not only have the body colors of a ladybird beetle, aka ladybugs, they'll also compress their bodies at times to ensure that from above, via birds, that they know that it's the ladybugs that they are eyeing. Why would that be important though? Birds eat spiders at times, and so to defend themselves, they go and mimic something that they know birds won't eat. Ladybugs can be poisonous to birds. It's really clever, and it shows just how smart animals can be when they're allowed to evolve into their full potential. You'll usually find these creatures in Eastern Asia, such as China, Japan, and Taiwan, and they're very effective at using their body to both stay alive and get food. Number 5. Flower Crab Spider Continuing on with spiders that know how to blend in with their environments, I give you the Flower Crab Spider. This is another very special species because these spiders, which are numerous in the world, will go and rest upon arrays of flowers, and to make sure that no one spots them, they'll actively change colors. Yeah, they will. They're capable of changing their colors on a dime should the situation be necessary. And when you're hunting for food, it's always necessary. There are over 40 different species of flower crab spiders in the world today, so when you go and observe that flower patch, especially goldenrods, be sure to be on the lookout for spiders so you're not surprised when one creeps up towards you. Wouldn't want that, right? 4. Ogre-Faced Spiders I probably shouldn't have to describe this kind of spider to you at all, but given that you might get the wrong idea, it's probably for the best. Ogre-faced spiders are one of the more odd and unique spiders in the world today. They're part of the net-catching spider breed, where they'll actually make a net from their threads and silk, hold it in the air, and then catch prey when they're in range, a unique method of hunting compared to other spiders. Furthermore, their appearance, including their face, is very different from other spiders. At times, it looks like they have six legs instead of eight, and their faces are said to look like an ogre, due in part to their eyes, which, by the way, can process more light than owls and cats. At present, there are 51 species of ogre-faced spiders in the world today. Number 3. Wraparound Spider Want to see another example of a spider blending into nature in a weird way? Meet the Wraparound Spider. This is a spider that uses its rather thick body and will press it against a tree trunk or branch which, when mixed with its natural brown coloring, will ensure that it goes virtually undetected by foes as well as prey. 
Just as interesting, though, is that when nighttime hits, the wraparound spider will actually go and rest in nets that it wove itself. Not exactly what you would expect from a dedicated spider like this, huh? 2. Bird Dropping Spider In nature, sometimes the best creatures that are hunters are the ones that are best able to blend in with their environment in such a way that no one would question what they are and aren't. But for the entity known as the Bird Dropping Spider, well, let's just say that their approach is a bit crappy. This species is actually a form of crab spider. But don't get the name mixed up, they're not dropping birds with their strikes, they're actually mimicking the look and movements of actual bird droppings. Oh yes! Scottish naturalist Henry Oak Forbes was the first to discover this unique spider, so good that it can even fool humans. This spider literally goes to all extremes to try and convince people and animals that it's a bird dropping. It can even drip to make it seem like the excrement is slipping off the leaf or stone or other place it's on. And it can even emit an odor that reminds you of bird droppings. This is a spider with dedication to its craft. Number 1. The Albino Spider This particular creature is a bit deceptive in its naming, mainly because despite being called the Albino Spider, only one part of the spider is actually white. But that's actually what makes it so weird. This specific trapdoor spider was found in Australia back in the early 2010s, and most people were shocked to see it because only its flat head was white. The rest of its body was actually brown and black. I nearly fell over when I saw its white head, Mark Harvey, senior curator at the Western Australian Museum, said via email. Now, it's not uncommon for certain albino creatures to exist. Some of them are even very prominent in various parts of the world. And yet, when it's them that's albino, their entire bodies are white. Yet this one only has its head being white. That's just plain weird. And because it's so new and was only found somewhat recently, many people aren't really sure where this spider came from, where it all lives, and why it has that weird white head. Just goes to show that nature still has a way of mystifying us. Thanks for watching everyone! What did you think of these unique spiders? Which one do you think was the most strange of the set? Do you know of another spider that could easily be on this list? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel!